Welcome everyone, Ed here with Michelle. Good evening everyone. And it's dinner time here in Corbin, Kentucky. And we are not going to the KFC Cafe because it's not even open yet. We're staying here at the Baymont and we found out that it's still under construction. So instead of that, we are going to Sonny's Barbecue, which is straight ahead that way, walking distance from the hotel. So, you ready for a little walk? Hey, this is good for us. We're That's gonna be right. eating good, and then we could get a little exercise afterwards. That's right. How cool is that? All right, well, you guys won't have to do the walk, but we will bring you guys back when we get there. Beautiful night out here in North, Northern Kentucky, more or less. And I'll see you guys there at the barbecue. <laughs> Another good hit with the buffalo. You already got a major bonus, Michelle? Holy cow. That's $10. Good job. Today we are in Cuyahoga Falls, checking out the last remaining Arthur Treaters. Let's take a look at the inside there. Oh boy. Oh, that looks good. Michelle's already inside Sonny's Barbecue. Ooh, right away you could smell the, the the mesquite grilling going on with the mesquite wood. At Sonny's Barbecue, it's founded in 1968. It's a state of mind. You really want me to read all that, Michelle? No. I'm too hungry to read all that. Okay, you can read that for me, okay? All right, so is our name down on the yes, thing? it's under my name. All right. Welcome to Sonny's Barbecue. Smoked in-house daily, they say. Okay, right off the bat, you look at the appetizers, and you got the pork, barbecued pork egg rolls, smoked wings for $11.99. They don't really tell you how many wings you get, but it's probably about six, I would say corn nuggets and fried okra. You get the feeling, you can tell that it's got a southern flair to it, you know? The Sweet Carolina barbecue sandwich. It's a pulled pork, homemade coleslaw, and Sonny's signature Carolina sauce. Then you got the wild hog. I love these names. I keep on thinking I'm ready to see a boss hog walk into the, the building over here from Dukes of Hazard that got jalapeno and cheddar built into that one. And Sonny's Cuban, which is a slow smoked pork pulled and sliced with Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard barbecue. Of course, they got all the standbys over here, the St. Louis ribs and the pulled or sliced pork or a half chicken. And these prices are market price for that but you're looking at $12 for the pulled pork and or the, the chicken, which is $12. But in the, 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 the meat of the menu, if you wanna, no pun intended over there, Michelle was uh, talking about the Sonny's Sampler, which is pictured over here. It's got a little bit of everything. You got the pulled pork, you got the coleslaw, you got the pork and beans, and uh, Cornbread, I think that is, or what is that over there, Michelle? Garlic bread. Garlic bread? I don't know, but it looks good. And I don't know what what you guys would think, but if you want to get a little taste of everything, I think that's the way to go. Or I was even leaning in the direction of um, ribs and smoked wings. I don't know. I, but I do want to get some of those uh, pork and beans to go along with it. That, that sounds like fun. Again, the, the Sunny Sampler, no affiliation to Sunny Corinthos. 
you guys may want to think that, but it's there is no, no M Michelle, you want to go just because of Sonny's name, but it's not Sonny Corinthos that owns this place, all right? $16.99, and the, that's for the Sonny sampler, not Corinthos, and the ribs and smoked wings are $13.99. Already, Michelle told me she's getting Sunny Sampler. So <laughs> that tells you all you need to know about Michelle. Okay. And they have desserts on the back banana pudding, chocolate chip cookies, and cinnamon sugar oh, donut rolls. A sweet nice tea, please. Over here. A Coca Cola, please. Thank you. They do have salads here, too, Michelle, believe it or not. They have the Cobb salad, barbecue Cobb, and the smoking Caesar, and the barbecue salad, too. It all sounds delicious, but it's hard to choose what you well, like. Let me, listen, when you go to a barbecue place, you're thinking meat and barbecue and ribs. Uh, you're not thinking salad, okay? So anyway, I'll bring you guys back after we've placed our order. I got a little story for you guys. Michelle's got her uh, Top Gun shirt on, right? Earlier on the way up here, we were uh, stopping at a gas station, and Michelle was getting something for me to drink. And I think it was what, a Love's gas station or whatever. Correct, yeah. And, and some guy goes, what? Hey, bro. Hey. No, hey, Maverick. What's going on and everything. And he saw my Top Gun shirt. He went, what's going on there, Maverick? Yeah. And I turned around and he goes, oh, boy. And he had the white his eyes. Why was he shocked? Because he didn't know you were a, a woman. He thought you were a dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know how many dudes have. Okay, whatever. Anyway. So the, he might have been Iceman. You never know. I don't know. Or was or he goose. goose or Goose? But Goose died. So yeah. yeah. Okay, Michelle Sunny Sampler came with uh, a couple of sides. She substituted her coleslaw for the salad. Looks pretty good, Michelle. No, I, I didn't get the baked beans with it, so oh, I got okay. salad instead. Okay. I'm me. I'm a big fan of baked beans. If I'm like, I remember when we went to the Gillies. At Choctaw, that was the whole point of going to eat there was for the baked beans and the and the ribs. I mean, they go hand in hand. Correct. But, well, how's the salad? Is it cold? Yes. Is it crispy? Yes. Okay. There you go. That's all. The cold and crispy are key to any salad, and they nailed it on both of them, right? Okay. And my sunny sampler came with the coleslaw. All right. The biggest thing for me is to make sure that it's cold. Creamy and cold. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Okay, we had everything come to us at one time, so don't yell at me for timing our food, okay, because this is how they brought it out. They brought out the wings, and then one minute later, all the other wonderful things showed up. And there is the Texas toast that Michelle was talking about, and my beans, and my, my beef brisket is under there, right there. Hey, look at that. That's a nice piece. And then you got the, the barbecued ribs right there and the barbecued chicken. But not to sell, sell that chicken short, we got the smoked chicken wings that I haven't even tried yet. So let's try that now. It's got like a little smoky flavor to it. Now this was um, $11.99 for 10 wings. So that's what, $1.20 a piece or whatever? They're kind of small, but that's okay. They're tasty. Very good. What do you got over there, Michelle? You got the same thing basically? Yes. Uh, pulled pork without sauces right now. They got original. Mm -hmm. um, That's right, you could add whatever you want onto it over there. That's cool. I got sizzling. 
and I don't know that flavor. Yeah, the labels are not clearly marked. You got original. Try a little piece and let me know how it is, the, 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 the original sauce. How is that? Is it like a sweetness or is it like hot? hot? Sweet and, and mild tasting. Okay, sweet but not like spicy hot. No. Okay, I'm gonna try that then. All right. Take a little piece of the brisket over there. This is the original now. Mm. I got a nice piece of that, the fat that goes into that, and that's where all the taste is. That was good. How's the baked beans? I'm about to try it right now. Very sweet and hot. That is good. It's not like anything you're going to get out of a can, I'm going to tell you that. It's got its own unique flavor. It's got like a sweetness to it. Wow. That is awesome. Really, Michelle, this is really good. You're missing out on the baked beans. I could just eat this all day long. Mm. Very good. And now I'm gonna try a little bit of that sauce on my rib right there. There you go. That's a good one. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. That's a good flavor too. It's like a like a, a step up, mild tasting. Okay, well I'll, I'll I'll verify that. There we go. Right there. Okay. Oh yeah, it's got a, a zing to it, Michelle. Mmm, <laughs> good. Real good. Everything is really good, except when you get. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I'm I'm I'm, I'm just splitting hairs right now. But these uh, this is the pulled pork. It's kind of on the dry side. It is. It's still good, but. You really, you know, once you put the sauce on it, whatever sauce you want to put on there, it helps it along. But if you're just eating it without any sauce on it, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle because it is kind of dry. Again, I, I'm, I'm just, you know, being a jerk now, you know. Overall, it's very, very good. But you definitely want to put some sauce on it to help it out. There you go. There you go. It'll help it slide right down, Michelle. How you doing over there? <laughs> I totally forgot I had ribs. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. I just have chicken and pulled pork. And then, oh, well, wait a minute. And Michelle is upset because she heard that you could actually order cornbread instead of the Texas toast. But hey, that's, that's her mistake. That's a nice trade-off. Okay, we're on the home stretch of eating our meal, Michelle more so than me, but everything is awesome. I mean, really, really good. I'm learning what the differences are between the beef brisket and the pulled pork and the pork ribs. To me, the highlight of the whole thing to me is the, the beef brisket. I like that the best, especially like Michelle was pointing out to me, the rump of it, the bottom of where the fat is and everything. Yeah, that's where the flavor is. So there you go. And the bill came out, Michelle, only $54 for all this. I thought that was a great deal considering all that we got out of this meal. And the service was very good, uh, friendly, quick, maybe a little too quick, but that's okay. I'd rather have it that way than the other way, you know. So we, if you guys are ever in the Corbin, Kentucky area, 
if you you know it's an hour away from Bucky's, which is what we were here in this area. But it is in that area where Colonel Sanders got his start. You know, so if you're not in the mood for Kentucky Fried Chicken, you want to go to have a good barbecue. You cannot go wrong at Sonny's Barbecue, right by the freeway on 75. What's the street over here, Michelle? Adams Road. Adams Road. There you go. I'll put the address in the description and everything. Stay safe, everyone, and have a great indoors day. Bye-bye. Hey, if, if I'm going to show you guys walking in, I'm going to sh show you guys walking back after we just had that that feast over there at Sonny's Barbecue. <laughs> Uh, to kick off the summer, what yeah. a better place to start. There you go. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I just have to say that out of everything that I had, that beef brisket was the best. Uh, it had that nice, that nice taste of the, with the fat in it and everything. That was good. Everything though, like the wings that we had, you got they're like a dry rub smoke and um, there's not much flavor to them so you got to add something on them a, a wing sauce or that sauce to them to give them some flavor you know and they were kind of the wings even the chicken wings that we had were kind of on the dry side I don't want to say that too loud in there because it is you know I don't want I don't want to you know discourage anyone from going there because I think it's a great place if you want to get a, a nice barbecue it's very convenient to the hotels in the area. Perfect location, you know, right by the freeway, which is right over there. And you got an abandoned gas station over there. You could thank Bucky's for that one, probably, you know. But anyway, <laughs> that's the end of this video. Until next time. Bye, everyone. Say, Thanks for watching. Bye. Like.